It is the beginning of the school year again, and many of you might be coming back to school. However, with the ongoing pandemic in mind, many schools are not opening their doors to students. Instead, many of us will be setting up our home studio to work on projects from home. So with that in mind, we're going to be talking about top 5 most useful stationaries to upgrade your home studio. So many schools these days ask you to buy first year kits that include stuff like trace paper, rulers, and all the essentials. However, after almost 7 years of architecture school and working from home for many years, I found that there are a few tools that schools never mention that are essentially life-changing. So with the basics out of the way, let's talk about the most useful tools. Alright, just to let you guys know, this is purely based on my personal opinion, so if you guys have more suggestions, make sure to leave it in the comments. So in no particular order, here is the first one. Even though we do a lot of drafting in, on computer now, there's still a lot of things that need to be done on paper. When I was first starting school, the uh, curriculum was still in a bit of a transition between um, traditional hand sketching method versus computer aided design. So I had thought that all the drafting will soon move on to computer. However, after years of practice as well as watching all the students evolve, I realized that there's so much value in using your physical hand to make sketches and do some basic rendering. So with that in mind, I recommend you get a colored marker set. So here's the one that I'm using. It's like, there's a quite a few colors in there. It's almost 80 something colors, I think. But you definitely don't have to get this many colors. I strongly recommend you try getting, you know, start with like a couple that you really like that are most common. One color for glass, one color for, um, say, wood and kind of start off with that. Or buy a small set of like, you know, six different shades of gray and play around and see which one you need the most. Basically, these alcohol markers dry really quickly and they are able and they will give you a little bit more dimension into your physical sketches. These little highlights can actually make a big difference on top of using like say pencil and pen that are only black and white. By far, these markers made the biggest difference in my workflow, in my personal opinion. I strongly recommend you give it a shot and see if it works for you. Alright, next up on the list is a printer. Many of you probably already have access to printers, but if you don't already have one, I strongly recommend you get an affordable one. There are tons of printer options nowadays that, are, that ranges from under $100 all the way to very expensive office supplies. But for your personal use, I think the lower end does exactly what you need to do. Architectural drawings often get super big, so you might want you might be tempted to get like a um, tabloid size or a slightly bigger printer. But for personal use, you can always tile smaller papers together. Considering student budget, I strongly recommend you get a smaller printer and try printing things out. And the reason I recommend printer actually adds on from the previous point. The reason is because we do a lot of drafting both on computer and hand. So having the means to kind of like switch between the digital and physical method actually helps you iterate your ideas really quickly. So for example, maybe you will start quickly come up with a concept idea, some kind of massing in the physical space with like pen and pencil, quickly take a snapshot with your smartphone, upload it to your computer and try like drafting on top of it, right? And once that is done, you might want to give it another draft with your hands. So when that happens, printer becomes extremely useful. If you're using any kind of CAD software, they will allow you to quickly print from your viewport, try it on hands, scan it back, or make more adjustments and make this process a lot more smooth. But if you don't have a printer, this process becomes utterly impossible. And that is why my second recommendation is the printer. Alright, next up on the list is LED trace pad. For those who don't know what this is, this is basically a smaller version of tracing table. Especially with the school closed, it is kind of difficult to have access to tracing table. And I guess it has become quite clear that I'm a big fan of using my hand to draft at this point. So might as well, maybe this video is all about tracing after all, I don't know. But basically the reason I recommend this to you is so that you can trace and study different kinds of drawings. At this point, it's quite clear that I'm a big fan of sketching and drafting by hand. But even if you're not using it for that purpose, you can still use it to do all kinds of other things, such as tracing off of other photographs, or sometimes you can integrate it into your physical model to add some cool lighting that comes from beneath. So it is all up to you to implement it, but basically those are the basics. And this item on the list is more of an informative one, so that in case you didn't know, this exists. So if you miss using tracing table at school, this is the option to go for. Alright, next up on the list is a headphone. Headphone used to be more important back when students were required to go into the studio because studio space tends to be sometimes a little bit out of control. A headphone needs to satisfy many criterias, 
One of them being you need to be able to isolate noise and also allow you to move around freely. But the most important one probably is that it needs to be comfortable in order for you to wear it for an extended duration of time. So with these in mind, the current headphone that I've been using for the past few years is Bose QuietComfort. It doesn't specifically have to be this one, but I strongly recommend you go for noise cancelling, wireless, and over-the-ear headphone for maximum comfort, isolation, as well as freedom of movement. Okay, with that being said, let's move on to the last point. One of the biggest investments for students is choosing a laptop. And I strongly recommend you invest in a really good laptop because despite all the things I've mentioned, in the end, most of the final drafts are done on computer. Investing in a good laptop also allows you to arbitrage that for future use, even after you graduate, during your co-op terms, and even when you are working on extracurricular projects. And we understand laptops are big investments, and there are many considerations that go into it. And that is why we made a full video about this, so if you want to check that out, the link will be in the description or top right corner right here. So those were the top 5 most important stationaries required for home studio. So what did you think about our suggestions? Did you like them? Or do you have better suggestions? Let us know in the comments. We'll be keeping track of all the hardwares that are, that's mentioned in this video in our website. As we get more suggestions, we'll be adding more to that list. So make sure to come back to check out new gadgets that I added. And have you had some questions that you wanted to ask us but you didn't know where to do it? Social media might be the best place to do it. So make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We're going to be posting a Q&A post. So make sure to leave us a question there and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.